Hello, Monroeberry High School students and families. I hope you were able to enjoy the great spring weather we had this weekend, and you all are doing well. This is the informational video for the week of March 22nd through 26th. Our letter day rotation for this week is Monday will be a C day, Tuesday will be a D day, Wednesday will be an E day, Thursday an F day, and Friday an A day. We will have our B track students in the building this week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and our A track students in the building on Tuesday and Thursday. With Tuesday being our final parent teacher conferences for the spring. Students who are in the building, which are A track, will be dismissed at 1030 on Tuesday. The schedule will be periods one, two, three, four, and nine. The parent-teacher conferences are virtual, and teachers will let you into the Google Meet at your specified time. Any senior that has not had their senior portrait taken, which would be part of the yearbook, will have five remaining days. These are the last five days for our seniors to have their portraits taken. March 23rd, 24th, and 25th, 3.15 to 8 p.m., and then again on April 7th and 8th from 3.15 to 8 p.m. These picture sessions will be in the wrestling room. Any retakes can also be completed on these days. To schedule an appointment, you could reach out to the 800 number or go to our yearbook page on our webpage and use the link to register. If you do not have the unique code needed for the registration to schedule the appointment, please contact Mrs. Rosario at R. Rosario at mw.k12.ny.us. Mrs. Rosario is one of our yearbook advisors. Seniors, we will not be having our cap and gown pickup this Thursday. Herf Jones could not guarantee us that the portal would be open for our seniors to begin uploading their information for our senior recognition. So we are postponing the cap and gowns until April. We will be sending an email to parents and seniors uh, Monday or Tuesday this week with all the information concerning upcoming events for seniors that we have confirmed. There are many people that are working on our senior events, our senior class officers, our senior class advisors, our all-night graduation party committee, our PTA, other parents, other seniors, our high school administration, and our central administration. All of us will continue to meet as we plan the events for our seniors. Again, an email will be sent on either Monday or Tuesday with confirmed information for upcoming events. Just a reminder to juniors, any junior that is interested in being the student representative to the Board of Education for the 2021-2022 school year, your application is due Friday, April 16th. An email was sent a couple of weeks ago with all the information, or you can go to the district webpage. Again, any junior that is looking to be the Board of Education student representative must have all their information in by Friday, April 16th. Our last prom presentation will be Monday, March 22nd at 8 p.m. Again, if you have not attended a prom presentation and are planning on going to a prom this year, you need to have this prom requirement completed. Students who have not completed the prom requirement will not be permitted to go to the prom. If you are attending our last one on Monday, March 22nd at 8 p.m., please remember that you and your parent must be in view on camera at all times. And at the end of the presentation, there is a quick survey that each student needs to complete to finalize their attendance at the prom presentation. There is no school from March 29th through April 5th, that is spring break. Hopefully the weather is good for all of us so that we can enjoy the break. Our National Honor Society, in collaboration with our World Language Honor Society, continue to offer tutoring for all students. On Tuesdays, English, Wednesdays, History, French, Italian, and Spanish, Thursdays, Math, and Fridays, Science. These sessions are open to all high school students. 
Students, when in the building, please remember to wear your mask appropriately over your nose and mouth. When possible, wash your hands or use a sanitizer that we have in the building. Keep that distance of six feet between you and those around you. These three things will help us to remain in school and be healthy and safe. Parents, please remember to complete the COVID-19 SNAP screening each morning by 645 that your student is in the building. This helps us have a smooth and quick entry for all our students into the building. A reminder all students that your IDs need to be displayed whenever you are in the building. This also helps us to increase our safety for all. That's it for this week, everyone. Have a great week and enjoy spring break next week. Be well.